Hi there everyone, today we are going to look at rounding. Alright, so rounding to the nearest integer and to decimal places, okay? So when we're looking at rounding um, to the nearest whole number or integer, then you're going to look at the first number after the units or ones place. It's basically your first decimal place. And that's going to determine whether or not we round up or we round down, okay? If it's five or more, again, so this is the first decimal place, so the one after the, the ones or units, then we round the units up by one. Um, and and remove the number after the decimal place. If not, then of course we less than five. Then we leave the units as they are and remove any numbers after the decimal place. Okay. So let's have a look. So in terms of examples, so forty three point two. So in terms of the the whole number, the whole number is the three. Okay. So we'll look at the one after it and decide is that is the one after it less than five? Well, it is. It's a two. All right. So that means we literally just remove the two. And leave the 43 as it is all right to the nearest whole number if we've got 23.6 well the, the key number that we are looking here is the six because that's the first digit after the whole number so that's the units digit and we're looking at the one after it well that six is bigger than bigger than five so that means it's going to move this one up by one and then get rid of everything else that's after it all right so that's going to take the number up to 24 and then leave the rest all right so that's rounding to the nearest integer so the nearest 10, 100 or 1,000 is literally the same process again. Um, so we look at which one unit you're after, you're after, and then from there, obviously determine what you do with the numbers after it. So when you're looking at the nearest 10, you're looking at the tens column, and then you're looking at the one after it. Well, the tens column is obviously 38. The one after it is a 5, so that means it rounds up to 9. And, of course, I need to place order. It's going to take it to 390 at the end. Okay. Um, 5,246 to the nearest 100, well the 100 is this one, so look at the one after it, and the one after it is a 4, so that's going to remain as it is, so you've got 5,200, and it stays as 5,200, because I need the two zeros um, at the end, alright, so that should be 5,200 over here, alright, what about decimal places, so to round to decimal places, we need to look at the numbers after the decimal point, all right, so after the decimal point, so you've got 24.73. So now we're looking at the seven. Seven is the first decimal point, um, and then we're looking at the one after it. All right, so this that number after it is a three. All right, so that means it's going to stay um, as a seven, so 24.7. Um, when we're looking at two decimal places, so I'm looking at the five, and the number after it this time is a seven, so it's going to be 3.2. Well, that's going to move up to a six, so 3.26. There you go. And essentially, that's it. All right. So in terms of obviously rounding, obviously decimal places, then please do look at um, obviously the kind of questions online. Make sure you're kind of happy with it. If you need to revisit this lesson, then of course you can do. Look at the video and obviously look at online as well. All right. Well, thanks for listening.